and now for today's Bible question. Today we have been learning about the ministry of John the Baptist and how he preached righteousness to the people of Israel and told them how to live in order to please God. We also learned about the true humanity of our Lord Jesus Christ, the son of Adam, through Luke's genealogy. Someone might ask the question, what kind of preaching is acceptable to God? Every Sunday, countless numbers of people gather in places of worship to hear a preacher preach. Have you ever given some thought to what is most important to God when it comes to preaching? Far too often Sunday's sermons are messages to make the audience feel good or entice them to give more to the church collection. Some messages are all about how to prosper in this world and become rich and happy and healed. The message going around many churches seems to be that God wants you to live well and prosper and you can if you only have faith and give plenty to the churches. Historically, this kind of hypocrisy was also seen during the Dark Ages when the church sold indulgences to the poor and common folk to buy their way out of God's judgment. All this was a sham from corrupt men who used religion as a cloak of covetousness. This is what we see happening today in so many churches. The supposed men of God are preaching to gain wealth for themselves while trying to convince their congregations that God wants to make them rich and prosperous. What is the problem with this kind of preaching? The problem is that it avoids the subject of sin and God's anger and displeasure with our sin. This is what John the Baptist preached about and it hit a nerve with people. Many fortunately repented of their sin and turned to God in faith. But many hated John and wanted to get rid of him. True preaching ought to hurt. It should challenge, rebuke, and correct. The word preach comes from a word that means to stab. That is what we do with a sword or a knife. That is how the preacher is to use the word of God, which is called the sword of the Spirit. When we hear men preach, it should convict us about our sin and cause us to flee from God's wrath. I hope you are hearing preaching that makes you feel the sting of sin and convicts you so that you are anxious to find God's salvation. Let me say to you today that God has condemned all men as sinners. The Bible is very plain when it says that all of us have sinned and come short of the glory of God. It also says there is none good, no, not one. Let's not be deceived into thinking that we are good or that some few good people get to go to heaven. Not at all. The Bible tells us that we are all condemned and except for the mercy and grace of God, we could never enter into heaven. That is why Jesus came to die. He came to be judged in our place and to bear away our sins on the cross. Is there any sin in your life? Do you know that God hates your sin? Are you willing to confess this to God and look to Jesus to cleanse you and make you righteous before God? I pray that you will come with a broken and contrite spirit before God, confessing your sin and pleading for his forgiveness and for his salvation. John was not afraid to tell people about God's anger against sin and about the fires of judgment and hell. He knew that people might not like to hear it, but they needed to hear it just the same. Hell is real, and God does not want to send you there, but you might leave him no choice if you fail to repent from your sin and live like a wicked sinner. Don't think that somehow going to church on Sunday or putting some money into the collection will wash away your sins committed during the week. God will not accept shallow religious efforts to cleanse you from sin. He wants to give you an entirely new heart that loves righteousness and hates wickedness. While God's anger against our sin is real and the fires of hell are just as real, the love and mercy of God are also very real. 
God does not want any of us to have to suffer forever in the torments of hell. So he provided for us a wonderful salvation through Jesus Christ. Jesus can provide you with forgiveness of sins by paying that debt for you. As you look to Jesus dying on the cross for your sins, recognize how much he loves you and wants to bring you to heaven. Call out to him today in faith and ask him to cleanse you and make you God's child. And I know he will hear and answer your sincere prayer. Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, so that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. Acts chapter 3, verse 19.